Ladies and gentlemen, listen. The first attempt at this live stream failed due to the internet crashing. So we are going to cut this music. We're going to jump right into this thing because I don't know if my internet's going to hold up. Gotta love Spectrum. JK, I hate Spectrum so much. Let's jump into this thing. It's your boy Gorilla Mad. You guys are in the spiel. Thanks, Cam. All right. Hey. Hey, how we doing? Let's keep it moving. I am going to go see Spider-Man in less than two hours, and I was halfway through this NFL Week 15 Winners Losers stream, and my Stream Labs, not Stream Labs, Stream Elements, OBS, whatever, crashed. Um, on the season, I am 123 correct guesses to 85 incorrect guesses. There's been a lot of upsets this season. Um, so here we go into week 15 trying to just better our record so that we can end with as best of a record as we possibly can. All right. We're going to go into the live scene here real quick. All right. Um, we're going to look at the playoff spots really quick. If the season were to end right now, what are the playoff seedings looking like? So, for the AFC, we got the Patriots in number one. We have the Titans two, Chiefs three, Ravens four, Chargers five, Colts six, Bills seven. On the bubble, you got the Browns, Bengals, Broncos, Steelers, Raiders, Dolphins. Uh, the Detroit Lions, Jaguars, Texans, and Jets have all been officially eliminated from the playoffs. Um, the NFC, you got the Packers right now in the number one seed. Tampa Bay in two, Cardinals at three, Cowboys at four, Rams five, Niners six, and Washington at seven. On the bubbles, the Vikings, Eagles, Falcons, Saints, Panthers, Seahawks, Giants, and Bears. And the Bears are in desperation mode along with um, the Giants. Yes. All right. Well, actually, there's a lot of teams in desperation mode. Let's be real. Um, so let's go, let's go into the schedule for week 15 and predict our winners and losers. Uh, the start of this stream is going to be a little quick because I've already done this. My last stream, like I said, crashed, unfortunately. I'm still going to try to give you guys the same attention and same um, spiel that I did in the first attempt, um, but I'm sure I'm going to skip over some things. Next, um, let's start. Let's just let's just dive in. Uh, tonight's game is the Kansas City Chiefs at Los Angeles to face the Chargers. Chargers need this win. Chargers need this win bad. They're trying to take over the AFC West, which is a very, 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 very tight division right now. The Chiefs hold that spot, that top spot. Um, I think the Chiefs get this win, um, but I wouldn't mind seeing a Chargers win. Uh, next, we have the Las Vegas Raiders going to Cleveland Browns on Saturday to play. Um, look, there's a lot of players in the NFL right now with COVID, and I know the Browns have been hit hard by COVID. Um, I'm going with the Raiders. I think the Raiders go into Cleveland and they get the win. The Raiders need this win too. They're also part of that AFC West, and they are desperately trying to climb the way their way up in that division. Do they do it? I don't think so, but... Um, they're hoping to. Next, you have the uh, New England Patriots traveling to Indianapolis to play the Colts. Now, listen, there's a lot of rumors going around. It's going to be a Tom Brady, Bill Belichick Super Bowl. And my God, I hope that's not the case. I think the entire NFL fandom, besides those two teams, don't want that to happen. My, my God. Um, but I think the Patriots go into Indianapolis and get this win. They're, they're holding the number one seed right now in the AFC, and they want to continue to build on that, um, secure that spot. So I think the Patriots go in and they get the win, but I could see the Colts maybe, maybe putting up a fight. But the Patriots' defense has been lighting it up lately, so it's going to be a tough test for the Colts. Next, you have the Dallas Cowboys traveling to New York to play the Giants on Sunday. Um, I think the Cowboys get this win. I'm not going to think too hard about that. I... I have very little faith in the Giants. Uh, next, you have the loser game of the week. You have the Houston Texans traveling to the Jacksonville Jaguars, who are now without a head coach as of like midnight today. Uh, Urban Meyer, head coach, former head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars, was let go. Um, I think the Jaguars get this win. I think they band together and get this win and say, hey, look, uh, we might have stunk with Urban Meyer as head coach, but we're not a bad football team. But they I feel bad for Trevor Lawrence, man. First overall pick in the draft, and this is the shit show that he gets drafted into. Um, next, you have the Tennessee Titans going up against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh desperately needs this game uh, as well, but I think I think the Titans are going to be too much. The Titans are starting to get some players back, some players uh, healthy, um, so I think, I think the Titans get this win. Um, next, you have the New York Jets traveling down to Miami to play the Dolphins. I'm going with the Dolphins. They have a better record. They're playing at home. They've kind of turned their season around a little bit. Um, I'm going to go with the Jets. 
No, Dolphins, Dolphins, Dolphins. I think the Jets lose. Um, next, you have the Washington football team playing in Philadelphia, playing the Eagles. Uh, both teams desperately, desperately need this win. Washington's hanging on to that uh, seven seed with dear life. Um, Eagles are trying to get into the wild card spot, the seventh spot. Um, I'm going to go Washington. Just because I've seen some really good things out of Washington this year. And yes, the record isn't the greatest, but I'm going to go Washington. Uh, next, you have the Arizona Cardinals at Detroit playing the Lions. Now, I'm just going to say this. I'm just going to say this. I could 110% sing, see the Lions get the win. And you're probably all like, what the, f- what? The Lions beating the 10-3 and three Cardinals? Yes, I can see it happening. Because sometimes there are teams who have really great records and they play to the skill level of the opponent that they're facing. And I could see the Cardinals doing this. Um, it's going to be a big test for the Cardinals. And you're, I know you're all like a big test. They're playing against the one eleven one Detroit lions. Yeah. Big test, Matt, but no, I, I, I really do. Um, Arizona needs this win. They need to try to fight back for that number one seed in the NFC. Um, hope the Packers lose is what they're they're hoping for but the Lions I can see the Lions getting a cheeky win here I can see the Lions getting a cheeky win here but I'm gonna go with the Cardinals just because I like the Cardinals team more than I like the Lions team and I like the Lions team don't get me wrong I I root for them every week because you just kind of have to like yeah I'm a Packer fan but you just it's out of pity okay it's out of pity but I'm gonna go Cardinals but I would love to see the Lions get the win I really would like to see Lions win too because it just helps solidify the Packers in the number one uh, spot uh, next, you have the Carolina Panthers traveling to Buffalo to play the Bills. Uh, the Bills, I think, get this win. And I'm not going to overthink that. I think the Bills get the win. Uh, next, you have the Cincinnati Bengals playing the Denver Broncos. Both teams are 7-6. and six. Both teams desperately, too, want to get into that wild card spot. Um, are, are, the Bengals, are the Bengals in the wild card? Or are they on the outside? Hold on, let me take a peek. I don't remember. Yeah, the Bengals are on the outside. So are the Broncos. So both of them are fighting to get into here. The Bill, I forgot the Bills are in seventh seed. Ooh, yikes! This is see, this is the this is my favorite time of the year because every game matters so much more. Uh, what's up, puppy boy? Um, but yeah, I, I I I think I think the Bengals get this win. I I trust the Bengals team more than I trust the Broncos team. I trust Joe Burrow more than I trust uh, what is it, Teddy Bridgewater up there. I, tr- I trust Joe Burrow. And next, you have the Atlanta Falcons playing against the 49ers. You got your old Fortnite account back. Nice, puppy boy. We'll have to play some time. Um, I think the 49ers get this win. The 49ers have kind of turned things around. Um, I think the 49ers get this win. I, I, the Falcons, yes, they're 6-7. and seven. I don't think the Falcons are as good as that 6-7 and seven record stands. I just, I just don't. Uh, next, you have the Seattle Seahawks going up against the Los Angeles Rams. I think the Rams get this win. But I'd love to see the Seahawks get this win. Just like I would love to see the Falcons win. Like, at this time of year, I always hope for the worst team to win. Because then it just helps my team. Um, But I think the Rams get this win. Uh, Next, you have um, my game of the week. The Green Bay Packers going to Baltimore to play the Ravens. Um, I don't know if Lamar Jackson is playing yet. I know he hurt his ankle, but they were saying it's not as serious. Um, and Coach Harbaugh is preparing and hoping that Lamar plays. I haven't seen anything officially. Um, I think that's going to be a big impact. Um, Lamar Jackson will be, if he gets, if he's healthy enough to play and he plays, that's going to be a really great test for the Packers defense. Um, but I still feel confident, even if Lamar Jackson plays, that the Packers get this win. So I'm going with the Packers. Uh, next you have the very last game. No, no, second to last game. The last game of Sunday. You have the New Orleans Saints traveling to Tampa Bay to play the Buccaneers. Um, I would love to see the Saints win. Just gonna say that now. I would love to see the Saints win, but I, I think the Bucks get this win. I think the Buccaneers get this win, and there's the Cardinals, Packers, and Bucks. Man, they are all tied at ten and three. The Packers currently hold though that tie breaking. If the Packers win out, they have the number one seed. But it's going to be tough because the Packers still have some good games ahead of them. Um, and I think the Bucks' schedule gets pretty easy after the Saints game. So um, I would love to see the Saints win. I'm going to be rooting for the Saints, but I think th- I think the Bucks get this win. Uh, the last game of the week is the Minnesota Vikings traveling to Chicago to take on the Bears, and I. I think 
I'm going to go with the Bears. I'm, I think the Bears get this win. Um, the Vikings are going to be without um, Adam Thielen again. You know what? Do I really say the Bears? You know what I am? I'm, I'm going to be bold. I'm going to be ballsy. I'm going to go with the Chicago Bears. I think I think the Bears get this win this week. And those are my picks. We'll run through those real quick Holy one more time. Sh a new hey, Shane, thanks so much for the follow. I appreciate you for that. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this live on Twitch right now, thank you so much for tuning in. Please consider following just like our friend Shane just did. We are so close to 1,000 followers here on Twitch. And um, I think we're now to like almost 30. 30-ish followers away. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're so close. My goal is to hit a, my goal at the start of the year was to hit a thousand followers on Twitch and to be so close is pretty awesome. Um, so here are my picks. We're going to run through these uh, again. I've got the Chiefs, the Raiders, the Patriots, the Cowboys, the Jaguars, the Titans, the Dolphins, Washington football team, Cardinals, Bills, Bengals, 49ers, Rams, Packers, Buccaneers, and Bears. Those are my picks. If you're watching this on YouTube, because I do export these videos over to the YouTube channel, Gorilla Matt TV, I am a little bit behind. I've exported them. I just haven't made them live. I will admit that now. I think the last two, three weeks have not been uploaded. They're uploaded, but they haven't been, like, edited to be public. Um, but they're all over on my YouTube channel, Gorilla Matt TV. Please consider subscribing over there. I'd appreciate it. And uh, that, that's all I got for you. I, I was in a little bit of a hurry tonight because, like I said, we're going to go see Spider-Man. Why has my creator code been up the entire stream? It has, hasn't it? Hey, if you play Fortnite, use my creator code. Grill underscore Matt. God damn it. It's one of those days, guys. I am just too hyped for Spider-Man No Way Home tonight. I will see you guys later. Have a great night. Enjoy the football game. If you're watching the football game, if you're going out to see Spider-Man, enjoy it. No spoilers. I'm so excited. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you so much for tuning in. We will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Peace.